Hello world of the internet, my name is Simon Miller and welcome to another one of my little vlogs. Usually we do these on a Monday, but of course as you figured out we're doing it on a Tuesday because it is the 1st of January 2019. So you know there's been the festive period and now we're welcoming in a brand new year and I'm sure you've been here, there and everywhere uh, getting on with that. So I hope you did have a good festive season and I hope you are having a Merry New Year. Not allowed to say that, you usually have to say have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and when you switch them around... There are some people who will get genuinely mad at you and say, don't wish me a Merry New Year. It's Happy New Year and Merry Christmas. So we'll do it. We'll do it that way uh, instead. Now, what I want to talk about today does tie in to the whole New Year thing. A few people mentioned this to me on Twitter and via my patron. They said, Simon, are you a dude that is into New Year's resolutions? And you know, before we get into it, I've got nothing against... Uh, New Year's resolutions at all whatsoever. I think if that can be a catalyst for you to improve something or make a change and you know you're going to stick to it, then why not? It, 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 I mean, you should try and do that every day, which we're going to get into in a second. But if you need a big event like a brand new year to do it, well, you know, why the, why the hell not? The only one that does get under my skin just a little bit is the people, this is not you, this is other people who, you know, sign up for the gym in January, flood gyms <laughs> for the period of, of, you know, the month and then February comes and, and you never see them again. And it was kind of like a nightclub for a few weeks and then everybody peters out. And that's no good for you as well if you are intending to do that because you're just spending money for no reason. However, if you do finally think to yourself, I want to get in shape and you know I want to get involved in this whole new health kick. I know there's a lot of things in January, I can't remember what they're called now, but you can kind of sign up for charitable things where you also get in shape and you earn money for charity. Maybe you need that. Whatever gets you over the hump, basically, uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But the reason I personally don't do New, New Year resolutions or I kind of stay away from them is... I don't want to sound too sort of hippy trippy or anything, but it's really, really good to have occasions and it's always nice to have an excuse to celebrate or see your friends and family. That's all cool. But I feel like sometimes it's like the people that say, oh, I'm going to start my diet on Monday. Well, I'm much more of a, well, let's start it today. If you want to do something and you've got a passion and you've got a motivation, it doesn't really seem worthwhile. Worthwhile is the wrong, the wrong word, but it seems a bit backwards to me to wait, you know, say it was December the 15th and you need, knew you needed to do something. Go, oh, well, that can be one of my New Year's resolutions. I'm more about, you know, again, it sounds so cheesy and ridiculous, but I am more about just, you know, grab life by the horns and ride it around, uh, ride it around like, uh, like a crazy ball. Because I think setting goals or achieving and achieving those goals becomes more of a habit and more of a, a more of a routine uh, if, if you live like that. And the other thing as well, and we said this on loads of other vlogs too, it's not always about actually achieving what you set out to achieve. The real strength and the real sort of sense of character comes the fact that you want to do it to begin with and you're willing to give it a go. Uh, you can only regret the things that you don't do. I think that may be a catchphrase for this whole series, but it is true. So even if you do put yourself out there and you're prepared to fail. I mean, that's a really, really popular saying. James Hetfield has it, the, the lead guitarist and singer of Metallica, who, you know, did a vlog about them too. That's how much I love them. He has a tattoo that says dare to fail. Now, it does have a slightly negative spin, so you could, you know, say dare to live instead. But that is the point. And I always felt like, well, if I'm going to wait until January the 1st, and then I say, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, you don't know what life is going to throw at you within that period. You could get some bad news, uh, you know, something just may knock you off track a bit, and then all of a sudden you've got to deal with that. Whereas if you do treat it like a way of life, and you think, oh, I want to achieve this, I want to achieve that, and I'm just going to do it as and when feels right, then that's, that, that just makes more sense to me. The other thing with new, new resolutions is you shouldn't feel obliged or you shouldn't feel under any significant pressure to you know, see them through if you don't want to. So let's say, again, January 1st is here and you say, I'm going to learn the piano. The only thing I want to do this year is learn the piano. And let's say you do get to three weeks in uh, towards the end of the month. And it's, February's coming and the New Year's lost its novelty. And you think, you know what? I really don't have a passion for this. I don't actually want to play the piano I thought I did. And you should stick with it for a little while because... Again, you know, and other things that are happening in your life can, can affect that. But if you deep down know that this isn't something you want to do, there is nothing wrong with pushing it to one side and saying to yourself, well, I tried that. It wasn't for me. You know, what, what can I go and do instead? And I feel, not everybody, but as we did start all these vlogs talking about mental health, anxiety, and depression, and, and life, and all of those things, it can have a knock-on effect if you do start to beat yourself up. For doing that, and I know somebody, uh, you know, in my life, it's a family member, I'll keep it as that because I never like to be too specific, but she does that every single year, and because then she gets to the end of, say, 2018 for this example, and she hasn't accomplished them, she then lets it knock her a little bit, she feels a bit down, 
And you shouldn't do that. Goals and things you put in place to better yourself should be exactly that. They should be character building and they should give you confidence and they should... You know, if it is a hobby, they should be there to distract you when maybe your job's not great or your relationship's not great or whatever it may be. And so, yeah, again, you know, not wanting to, to, to go over the same point too much, but if you set a New Year's resolution and you're really kind of gung-ho about it, unless that's your, your chemical makeup too, I think I'm, I'm kind of like that. Again, if I'm passionate about something, I'll throw myself into it and I will exhaust every single option until I'm like, okay, I cannot do this anymore because there's clearly, you know, exterior factors that don't that don't make it work. But... I do think sometimes it's okay to, you know, have a bit of self-care. I mean, that's a good self uh, New Year's resolution to throw out there. It's like kind of more general ones as opposed to, yeah, learn the piano, go to the gym more, uh, you know, whatever it can be. I mean, things, things like, you know, I'm going to take care of myself better. I'm going to learn how to say no. That's a vlog I've been wanting to do for ages, uh, and we, we will get to it at some point. But saying no to people is a really, really difficult thing to do if you're a nice person and you want to make sure everybody else is happy, but eventually you may start saying to yourself, oh man, now it's affecting my livelihood because I can't do this, I can't do that, but I feel like I need to, to say yes to people. So that could be a, a goal you set yourself. Just say no to one person within the first four weeks of January and see how it makes you feel. And then you can address all those feelings and emotions too. Because imagine the first time you do not just that, but anything, it is going to feel a little bit weird because you're going to be out of your comfort zone. But the more and more you do something... In the, the more comfortable it, it, it's going to become. So I think that those more general uh, lifestyle lessons are probably better New Year's resolutions. But again, look, you may you may be of that ilk. You may have you know th thrown your flag in the sand uh, today. You know exactly what you want to achieve, and you're going to go out there and you're going to achieve it. And again, you will feel great. That's why New Year's resolutions are, are really really good. If you do actually see them through, you're going to feel really proud of yourself, and that is probably going to see you have an uplifting mood, and you're going to be happiness and. You know, that's that's great. That's what it's all about. That is what life is all about, to enjoy every single day and try and be happy when you break it right down. I saw a really good video over the Christmas period with this guy. I can't remember. He's really, really famous. Now I can't remember his name. Of course I can't because my brain has, has forsaken me. But he, it was only like a 45-second clip, but he was just saying stuff like, you know, I don't want to go. I don't want to go skiing. I don't want to go to the beer garden. I just, I just want to be happy. And obviously, for him, going skiing, going to a beer garden weren't things that you know creatively stimulated him. And his his whole point was is the one bit a bit negative, a bit depressing. But I got his point was that one day we're gonna die. Therefore, if you're wasting time doing all this stuff that you don't want to do. Maybe that's something you need to look at. He did it a bit more tongue in cheek than that, and he used uh, some colourful language, which made it which made it funnier. But hey, there is something in that. Again, I don't think you should you should take that to, to um, you know to too extreme because you make it is a bit of a depressing thought. But it kind of ties into all of this. So if you have sat down and you have planned out some you know things that you want to achieve this year, absolutely go after them. But don't forget that it's more about you know you as a person first and foremost so it's all right to give up I, I, i've always said that like when i started talking about wrestling training like, that's what i get most the biggest question i get is simon do you have any tips for me if i want to if i want to become a pro wrestler at least you know i want to i wanted to train for years and well what should i do and this ties into everything and that is just go and do it and don't be ashamed don't be upset again don't feel like you've let anybody down just because after a few weeks or a few months give it some time you decide this isn't uh, this isn't for me because you gave it a go and again that's where the strength of character comes that's where the confidence is it's not from you know putting yourself through the ringer and paying your dues as people say just because you're not enjoying it yeah, everybody's different everyone's got a unique personality and a and a different outlook on life and there is it's a waste of time saying oh, i'm going to continue this it's just not for you and your body and your gut and your brain and everything will tell you that you'll have a very very overwhelming feeling and you'll know so yeah sure set yourself some goals put yourself out there challenge yourself there's nothing wrong with getting out of your comfort zone it will teach you new things about yourself and, you know, it may teach you some things you do like, but also you can cross some other things off your list that you don't like. But don't let it wear you down. Don't let it, uh, you know, become the be all and end all. Don't let it have a knock on effect where you start feeling down or depressed. Make sure everything you do, as, well, it's not that easy, right? As I always say, it's not like flicking a light switch. And if you are really struggling, again, go talk to a friend, a family member, a medical professional, a counselor. There's loads of, um, loads of people out there you can talk to. But try and remember what a New Year's resolution is. And don't buy into the social media game too much either. I think sometimes you can see um, that, that that can get a little bit too intense, I think, around this time of year. But that's, that's a different message uh, for a different vlog. But look, nothing else. 
Happy New Year. Have a great 2019. Take every day as it comes. Try and figure out what makes you happy. Again, not easy, but piece all that together. And for me personally, um, we didn't really touch on this last week because I wanted to get some videos done. But again, Christmas week is absolutely nuts. Thank you to everyone. Now we're in January 2019. So these vlogs have been going on for a year. And how the hell that happened, I don't know. I mean, I don't think we have 52. We probably do actually have 52 at least, which is crazy because I tried to do one a week. I mean, some weeks we missed, but then some weeks we doubled up, right? So we must have evened out. So thank you to everyone that's watched. Um, thank you to everyone that's always come up. Some people do come up to me uh, and actually say, oh man, you know, they really helped. That is the most humbling thing in the world. So thank you very much to you as well. We will keep doing this. I promised um, somebody, he knows, he's a patron, he's been asking for ages, that we will touch on my obsession with Batman this year. So we'll do that later in the week as well. It just, it's nothing, you know, I'll, I'll just talk about it. I'll, I'll leave it there. Uh, and again, if there's anything else you want to see me talk about or a subject you think would be cool to broach, Drop a comment below. We can do that. All the YouTube stuff, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, blah, 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 blah. Um, but yeah, again, thank you very much for watching. Have a good, happy new year. Have a good 2019. And I'll probably see you again later in the week.